Hello, you're welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rat from Ratputaro. And uh, in this whole video, we are going to look into the uh, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and also Rising weekly general tarot reading uh, Feb um, March 1st up until March 7th, 2021. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, or if you do uh, want to participate or take actually my, uh, my tarot classes, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you are going to see a link to my website where you can view and uh, purchase either or both of these services. So with that being set aside, moving to Sagittarius reading of uh, the upcoming week here, the first card we do have for them, that is going to be the Four of Pentacles. A moving next, can you see the cards by the way? Yeah, okay. Moving next, we do have the High Priestess and that is, mm, <laughs> it's so good. Oh my God. I want, that. I want that for Scorpio, but alas, you you got the golden mine here, uh, followed by mm, the devil, and that is getting even better here, uh, followed afterwards with the emperor, and the last one, I, I wonder can it get any better than that, the last one that is going to be the king of cups, and yes, it can, oh my god, <laughs> oh, it's, um, I could pretty much fill out the whole reading with uh, a few sentences here, guys. And uh, it's, it's just, well, I'm going to explain it as I go, right? I got excited a little bit. So, uh, starting with the first one, which is the Four of Pentacles here with, uh, with this card at the start of the week. Uh, you Sagittarius, uh, I, I don't know, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be uh, a dependable in what kind of a situation you're in, but uh, just hold on a second. But with this card here, that either would mean that you are on a very solid structure and uh, on a very solid plan or, or with a very solid anticipations moving forward, all right? Or either would mean that uh, whatever you have built up thus far, uh, it's, it's pretty much sound and safe and you are ensuring it's certain and secure future, move, future moving po forward. Either way, for you Sagittarius, uh, this card here at the start of your week pretty much spills out that whatever you were doing thus far, it's, it's going to produce results therefore and uh or hereby and um it's simply you have uh, systemized it or structured or positioned it in a such a way that it's it will take a miracle somebody to be able to influence it in one or another way that is because for one or another reason regardless if we're talking here about relationships or career or projects whatever uh you have taken maybe unconsciously without you even noticing it you know or maybe that was completely premeditated from your behalf uh, you took a every single precautionary measure possible to uh to pretty much secure your endeavors to pretty much build up your comfort zone and uh, that is there to stay which pretty much points at the high priestess now this card, however, it does manifest in a very different ways. If we are uh, reading a relationship or if we are reading career, and I am explaining that into my tarot classes as well. But long story short, should that week will be all about career for you, the high priestess pretty much for you speaks that this career is there to stay, okay? And whatever contract you have signed, Okay, whatever uh, tasks you have been brought with, whatever um, negotiations you have led, they are to be a long lasting one. So if this week you have secured your, yourself a job, a job is going to be a long lasting one. If you have secured yourself some kind of a position at your job, that position is going to be a long lasting one, all right? It's, it's whatever you are to secure at the start of your week, which you are to secure something here with the Four of Pentacles, 
it's going to be a long lasting one. In fact, with the high priestess is so long lasting one that the only way you're losing it, if you give up on it. Okay. The only way you lose your job, it is if you decide to, to leave. The only one, the only way if you lose the project, it is if you decide to close it up. Uh, and that's why it's very important at the start of the week. And uh, even if you watch the video uh, a couple of days before the week starts, to really push yourself a little bit more than, than usual to be able to secure as many things as possible until the week starts. For, like I said, they are there to stay. But uh, if the card represents a, a relationship, if it's all about intimacy, if it's all about emotions for you for, throughout the week, because that is something that you may secure also, because the Four of Pentacles is not just only constrained over money, it does refer to entirety of your domain, uh, that pretty much the High Priestess speaks one of the two. Either you and the person of interest you do have, or, or the, the, the wife or a husband you do have, you know, or in general, it's somebody that you are involved with, um, that, that will kind of like start binding you more on an emotional and even goes beyond emotional level. Um, and I and here uh, I like to say, you know, people say uh, when, when somebody draws the lover's card and say, oh, yeah, soulmates. No, I love this card. First of all, it's an air sign. That's that's not emotions, uh, and I'm again explaining that into my tarot classes. So uh, the uh, lover's card is not soulmate. Uh, the high priest is, uh, or if there is such thing exists, soulmates, you, it doesn't get any closer than that. It is the high priest. So if you are single, guys, you may remain single throughout the week, all right? Because that card doesn't point. That you are um, that you are necessarily going to find your soulmate, but it is a clear sign that you are getting very close. It is you know it is very warm, and uh, very soon you are gonna get it. Maybe throughout the week, maybe in the next week, maybe in the next couple of months, but you are getting there for sure. That is if you are single. But those who are, uh, like I said, involved already, they're going to start sense the needs of their partner and vice versa as well. And that is further going to contribute to the security of their, uh, of their involvement, which is going to make it once more a long lasting one. You know, it is there to stay. And once you do realize all that, Sagittarius, we do have the devil. You are going to become aware of how much power you do have because the devil card is all about power. It's, it's all about power. You can, you can face it, interpret as a sex and yeah, that's a sexual drive or sexual power, you know, but it is all about a power. And pretty much the devil here points that you have the power to force your own circumstances. Why? It is because you secured it for yourself. And um, how can I say, uh, you got to be careful with it though, um, because with the devil card, you, not, you, you, you must structure or force create let's say let's not use the word force but let's use the word create your circumstances in a way that these circumstances should not influence the life of others right um, let me give you an example of it you want to and that is something that my manager told me a couple of days ago you know because we were talking something about you know the spiritual world and so and, and, and whatnot and we were discussing you know what is black magic and what is not and uh, pretty much, uh, if say you want to fall in love, right? You, you, you want to experience love. Praying somebody specific, John, James, David, whatever, to love you, that's not how you use the card of the devil. You invoke love, whoever, whoever should love you, that is up to the universe to decide. It's not yours to decide. That is how you do it uh, use the, the the power of the devil right and that is how you do create your own circumstances but here 
with the devil card once you do realize how much you have secured for yourself you know and that you actually created a very very good comfort zone either career-wise or other relationship wise and it is there uh, and it is there to stay now you are going to start fulfilling the needs of of your urges whatever you yearn for it's going to be there for you okay you can definitely accomplish it throughout the week like i said either love or either money, career, health, you, you name it. But like I said, you gotta be careful how you do it because the devil, uh, the power of the devil should be used for your benefit, yes, but, toward, but not towards someone else's detriment and uh, detriment to the universe as well. So it's very important here to ask yourself when that happened, where does your hunger lie? What, what, what you are starving for? You, you may, like I said, starve for love. You may starve for money as well. But if you are to accomplish or to satiate those hungers, they need to be satiated neutrally. You know, like I said, finding love, whoever it is, that's fine. You should not strive for a, a specific person that you have in mind. Okay, if that person loves you, that's great. But if they don't, don't try to create circumstances so they will. I hope that I made my uh, my point across. And uh, it's simply the circumstances of that card points that it, within your domain and even outside, a little bit outside of your domain, within the peripheral, with the power of the devil, whatever you say goes. And uh, right after you do exert that, uh, that power of the devil, we do have the emperor. And that is the realization of the consequences of the power, like, you know, into the Disney movies and into the uh, Marvel Universe. They always say, you know, the great power comes with a great responsibility. And that is what we do have for you here. The responsibility you become aware of um, in regards to whatever you say goes. And instead of being irresponsible, instead of being intoxicated by the fact that you can do whatever you want with your relationship, with your career, with, uh, you know, with your friendships at that point that you have secured, though, and pretty much go unscathed, at least up until the end of this week, you are going to start becoming more accountable toward it, more reliable as well in regards to your actions, more structured within the actions. And instead of uh, doing the things before, just, just, before, just because you can do those things, uh, you are going to, uh, how can I say, um, you're going to gain uh, rather severe control over your actions and over your situations. And, and it's, it's how do you call it, guys, when you do make a, a consistency. Like uh, everything falls in a certain norms, everything, everything falls in a certain framework that is acceptable for everybody and that way people like i said are gonna find you very reliable very capable as well uh, and uh, also um, somebody who does understand how serious certain situations uh, certain situations are and somebody that does have an accurate sense of emergency whatever is needed somebody does have an accurate perception over the uh, over how the things are and over the situations and this is where guys the proposition comes at the end of the week from this person here which is the king of cups now this one either gives you uh, or uh, addresses you with a uh, a very tempting offer it could be offer to start a relationship with this one. It could be an offer to start a business with this one. You know, it could be a, it could be any kind of offer and an offer that there is no need for you to deny it at all. And this person, they do not give you the offer because they do have some sentimental attachment towards you, for example, because they do feel something about you, etc., etc. They do give you the offer because they saw how you perform having the power and yet becoming accountable to it and yet showing yourself reliable, all right? Not misusing it like many would have done. And uh, they see you that you are simply either the woman or the man for the job, <laughs> you know. And that, and I'm, when I say job, I say it quote in quote. And you see, wait a minute, this person, you know, it's 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 very self-sustained, you know. Uh, they are good looking, 
and they do have everything in their life sorted out here. That is the impression that you'll give throughout the week. So that is somebody that I need, you know, that is somebody that I can definitely make a good relationship working out with. And so why should I not give it a try? And uh, the King of Cups, they're they are people who does, um, does not allow their emotions to dictate their actions, you know. Uh, for example, if this person has an emotions towards you, if they do not see a potential in a, in a future relationship, they, they, they wouldn't, um, how can I say, they wouldn't uncover their emotions, you know. This isn't the person that says, okay, let's try it out and see what's happened. They need to see, first of all, what possibly can happen and then they do offer a relationship. And if that's the case with you, uh, you have passed the test uh, according to uh, these cards. In regards to a career offer, you know, a business offer, these people, exceptional professionalists into the field that they are working at and they, again, they see your worth, they see how much you can accomplish with them and that's why they are offering you the opportunity that, like I said, there is no need for you to deny. The very least, the King of Cups for you, Sagittarius, seeing how how much you toil because with the emperor is always toiling involved how much you toil you know to develop your domain to develop your thing that it is there to stay like i said they will the very least offer you to help which again there is no need for you to deny that help so that being said sagittarius this was your weekly general tarot reading um march 1st up until march 7th 2021 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it guys and we are to see each other next time until then Bye.